Good morning. We are here with our rescue wagon, which is our five by eight cargo conversion camper. We were looking for something that we could pull and behind our Jeep so it couldn't be too heavy and we couldn't find anything that was really in a reasonable price. So we decided to just do one ourselves. We love to bike, but in the rescue wagon, we don't have room to put bikes. So we installed a hitch on the back of our rescue wagon so that we could put a bike rack and bring our bikes with us. Our bikes are really cool because we did get electric bikes, which give us a little bit of exercise, but also allow us to go really far when we're somewhere that we're trying to just explore. And they're a little heavier than other bikes, so we had to get a specific bike rack that would hold that weight. They weigh about 60 pounds a piece, and uh, we're gonna show you how we hook that up to the rescue wagon. In the description below, you can see the link for that bike rack and for the bikes. Cool thing about having a hitch on the back of the rescue wagon is you can use it for multiple things. So if you have a hitch on the back of your camper, comment below and tell us what you use your hitch for. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed some of our videos. So here are our electric bikes that we purchased. Now we didn't purchase the most expensive electric bikes because we weren't sure if we were gonna like it or not, but we love it and they work great. Here is our handy dandy bike rack that fits our electric bikes. And now we're gonna show you how we installed a hitch onto the back of our cargo camper. Okay, we had a two inch receiver that we had welded up underneath the rescue wagon and we wanted it so that it cut into the bar and then just protruded just a little bit. And that way it kind of stays hidden. You don't just see it sticking out. You don't hit your leg on it. Pretty easy to put the bike rack in to the hitch and get it hooked up. But you do need to remember that once you put it on, you can't open your door anymore because it's gonna be in the way. So get your stuff out before you put your bike rack on. This rack has a little pin here that you can put in for storage and it, um, it can tilt up. It can also tilt up when it's on the back of your vehicle so it's not sticking out as far. So I'm gonna put it the right way before I put it into the uh, hitch itself. Now we are going to pull this pin. And this is interesting because it actually has a screwing mechanism to tighten it up so it doesn't bounce around on the back, which is nice because when your bikes are all the way at the very back, everything at the very back gets accentuated. So you hit a small bump and it really, really bangs on the back. All right. And you can hand tighten this until it gets to the point where you have it snugged and then you can put a wrench on it. Now that we have it hooked up, didn't take too long to get it on there. Now we're gonna put the bikes on. And typically I put the back bike on first. You have these adjustable hooks that pull down on the, on the bikes. I try to bring them up to the top just to make it a little easier to, to put them on. These are adjustable. And I thought this was adjusted already, but I think it's must have, while I was storing it, got moved around a little bit. And you want it so that the tires go right down into the rack. And then you're going to bring your hook down, push that down while you tighten this in. Okay, and then Show you on this one because it's a little easier to see from the front you actually have a piece of velcro that goes through the tire so that you can secure the tire down in the area in the depression here and that it sits in so i like to push these down kind of hard to make sure that they have a secure fit on the bike. And then I'm going to connect these wheel straps in again, like I did on the first one. That's the way the bike rack comes. Now I have an additional strap that I use because I'm just a little paranoid that when I'm going down the road that these could fall off. One nice thing we do have is we have a backup camera that you can watch a video on that we installed on the back of the rescue wagon. 
Great thing about that is I really don't use it for backing up. I use, I use my mirrors for backing up with this. It's just easier. That is actually like a rear view mirror for behind us so we can kind of see what's going on. So while we're traveling with bikes or if I have any additional things on here, I'm gonna tilt that camera down just a little bit so I can see what's going on back here. If I start to see something get loose, which actually this bar needs to come down a little further, then I'm going to uh, you know, take care of that. Now, the other nice thing about that is once you put this strap on too, that helps hold everything down. So what I typically do is go around this main bar and then go up through the body or the top frame of the bike, go around that one, go around this one, bring it back down to where this is at. And this is not a real heavy duty, it's not like a ratchet strap. This is just one that pulls tight. So I pull it down, get a decent amount of tension on it. See how much overlap I have. And then typically just tie it off so it's not dangling in the wind. Put a couple of half hitches in it. And then pretty much good to go. So now that I have that strap on though, I am going to double check and make sure that I have these pieces down as far as they'll go. Just again, want to keep that tension on there as much as possible. Okay, so they are nice and tight now. So I've probably had five different bike racks. This is by far the best bike rack, the best design that I've ever seen. And because it holds these additional, the, the, the extra weight of these bikes, it, you know, when we've used it, it, it has worked really, really well. Having accessories that you can pile onto your camper when you go out allows you to be free.